All right, y'all, what is up? It is Kent here. And today, I thought I'd try something different, you know? I mean, I got my... We're going to try to rebuild my favorite team, the San Antonio Spurs. Now, of course, I'm kind of a casual when it comes to stuff like this. But we're going to run the draft lottery. Because it's in this offseason, so we're going to run the draft lottery. I've got some good chances from Charlotte. Even though the original pick we got was... But we'll see. I've got an official 2024... Official 2024 draft pick done for. Or, so I got the third pick. And I'm guessing the one I had was lottery protected. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> of course they got the first pick. That's that's great. So I'm not going to... I'm just going to try to rebuild. I'm not even going to mess with coaches because I don't really understand that. Here we, are, here we are in the draft. We're going to send to my pick. And so, what I'm looking for, for for sure is a point guard that I can surround Wimby with. Now, one of my plans was to um, trade for Trey Young. But if I can get one here, if I can get one here. Okay, let's see. So I'm just reading these. Rob Dillingham, I know he's shifty. I think we're going to go Nikola to Topic. Topic. I don't know. But we're going to send to the next user pick. And let's see here. What are we thinking of Paulo Diakide? So he hits long range shots regularly, but his outside shooting is shaky at best. I don't understand that. <coughs> I'm just looking at like, I was gonna be stupid. But I'm just looking at like offense and defense potential ratings. So, all right, there we go. That's our draft. We've got a 76 overall point guard. He's probably already gonna be one of our better point guards. If I'm if I'm being completely honest, I don't know what to think of that. So where's my second pick? Uh, 70 overall. Okay. Sign him. Two years, 20. So now. Let's take a look at Blake Wesley, because I don't think we have a spot for him. Okay, he can yam it. It's about... Look, that's a shooting guard, point guard. He's another point guard we just got. LeBron James's option got declined. Paul George's option got declined. Drew Holiday's got declined. And Jer Jalen Duran's got declined. Now, I... Let's go to free agency. I don't know how much money we got. We're in the whole 11 million. So we're not making any sort of offer here. So I think now we try to make a move. Let's want to see what the market on Keldon is. Because we're giving him $19 million a year. Him and Charlton, no. We're giving him 19 million a year, and this is probably his last year. Now I know I could probably trade for um, what's his face, Trey Young, but I just drafted a point guard, so my goal is to try to like shore up because he's almost as good as my starting point guard. Is 
and they're five years, five, six years apart. So, let me see, who's a, who's a shooting guard I could potentially go get? Or small forward, I mean. I'm not, try I'm not trying to get one that's young, that's decent, potential upside. Well, not potential upside. They've got an upside, for sure. And doesn't cost a trillion dollars a year to keep. <clears throat> I mean, Gigi Jackson is good, but I don't know. Just looking now. Jimmy Butler is going to be too old. What if I try to go after Brandon Miller? I have a draft pick from the Hornets and a pick from the Bulls. Okay, so he doesn't he doesn't want to trade him. Let's see if there's an affordable. There's not. So I guess we'll just advance to the next season. Try to figure this out. Usually my idea is to try to rebuild through the draft and stuff. You know? Alright. We'll send it about right here. The thing is, do I stock up on... Do I stock up on picks? I think I'll decline this one though. Where are all these low scoring games, man? Bobby. Po I, no. <clears throat> Bobby Portis is getting old. Brooke Lopez is getting old. Devin Vassell's got. I hope a large upside. Charles Bassey. I like Charles Bassey. That will make Trey Jones expendable. Alright, so now... Let's go see if there's anything for... Trey Jones. Devontae Graham is making $12 million a year. I was just talking about this guy in his jumper earlier. I'm not taking Grant Williams' salary. Or Gabe Vincent. Here's the thing though, the Mavericks probably aren't going to be in that range. So that's a, that's a contender right now. <laughs> Bronny James and Larry Nance for champ. I don't think so. Old Mike Conley. Draymond is making that much money? <laughs> or just Bagley straight up? Which offer was it? Was it number eight? No. Number nine. I think we'll I think we'll take this one. This might end up biting me in the butt. Zach Levine for I 
That's a lot of money for a dude that's one overall higher than I think we'll I think we'll keep it this way. Because I'm trying to keep the young ones, because Zach Levine's definitely getting older. Why does everyone want him? How old is he, 26? Both drafted in the same draft. I think I'm going to stick with Vassell still. Alright, we're 8 and 12 right now, you know. Go. Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal's on a ridiculous salary. Though. I don't think I can afford that. I don't need a center. I got my center. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with all these low scoring games. What is that hair? I think I try to re-sign Sohan. That might be the death of me trying to re-sign all the talent, but... <clears throat> Alright, if we could get to 500. Yeah, I don't think we are. Okay, now this one's a good deal. How much is precious that you will have? I think we I think we take this one. Barely beat the Lakers. Okay, beat the blue out the Jazz almost. Yeah, what is the? Oh, we got we get we got a good center. Thing is, do I do it and let? Do I do it and let? Um, what? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Do I do it and let? No. All right. So we're keep obviously keeping Wendy. Wendy, I mean Wendy. I might. Might have to slip, get rid of Brogdon.
putting point four points a game. Dude, what year was he part of the 50 40 90 club, dude? There it was. Last year in Milwaukee. Because I was about to say, I knew he was in it. And he was like one of the dudes that you. He's the one dude in that club that you wouldn't think would be in it. I'm definitely not training for. What's his face? James Harden. And that same deal is on the table. I'm not. I could probably flip Norman Powell. Alright, and so the rest of the regular season, we're gonna rock with it. I'll probably just edit to this part. Yeah, I'll probably just edit this part out. Yeah, let's see if I have anybody eligible for contract extensions. So nobody's eligible. I think everybody's... Yeah, I think everybody's locked up for a while. I mean, the Spurs have done a good job of that. Yeah, I traded the other... So it looks like this year we need to go out and get a small forward. For sure. Oh, Mamu's going down. I don't like to see that. But. Alright. We're gonna. We're gonna come back for this. We're going to be, be even better next year. I can feel it. This might be a multi-part series because this might be a lot of work to get them to the finals or, or to win a championship because I'm just, I'm ending this when I win a championship. Shea Gilgis Alexander average. Okay. Something, something's going on here. And we're going to have to fix this. But obviously, no play in. So we'll just simulate the playoffs, see who wins. Cleveland with the number one seed in the... Okay, Shea and Darius go... And the Thunder win their first championship. Shea Gilders Alexander. Yeah. So let's look at who's retired. LeBron retired with the Pacers. Probably, no, I couldn't have afforded them. D Rose retired with the Hornets. Oh man, Patty Mills retired. So obviously, we all know LeBron James, first battle Hall of Famer. Probably everybody's retiring his jersey. Yep, everybody retired his jersey except for the Pacers. But let's take a look at the NBA draft lottery. Hope, hoping we got some luck here. I have three picks in this year's draft. But they were Dadgummit, that Bulls pick was lottery protected because I had that So if that one whoa. Okay, I'm looking here. I'm looking here. 6th, 7th, 19th and 21st. We have five picks. So, we have five picks in this year's first round. I like this. Now, I wasn't smart, and I clicked. I um, clicked, what was it? Auto-generate rookies, so I have... Let's, let's look at these trade offers. This pick, and another one of my picks for a pick next year in Paul Reed. <laughs> Bobby Porter's isn't as old as I... Chris Dunn is older than Bobby Portis. I get Norman Powell's deal. I'll, I'll get it off of the books myself. 
Kobe White and Royce O'Neal for this pick and the pick next year. Peyton Pritchard. Kawhi's making fifty million dollars a year. That I don't know how to say that. Zubat is on the Nuggets now. Here, Jakob Pertl, I can get Jakob Pertl back. I, I think I'm going to be better off drafting. So let's look at this guy, 6'1", 6'7", wingspan. Oh, but I'm needing a shooting guard, or a small forward. Ceiling, Tony Parker. Wait, I have the next pick, so I can pick this guy and that guy without... Interior finisher, ball hawk. Not the best shooter. I mean, I could probably put him in those. They still have camps, right? I don't know. I haven't played this game in a while. I haven't done this in a while. But he's a two-way, three-level threat. He's just an inside-outside scorer. I mean, they have the same comparison. We'll draft Drew Simpson next. All right. And I think. Let's see here. Bradley Beal, Damian Lee. Let's say he's got future NBA superstar written all over. But Ricardo Chavez. I think we'll take Keith Ray. From Vandy. Next we're going to go to my next user pick. Let's view these. Boy, the Bucks really want a draft pick from me. These are all the same offers for... Just... Okay, that one's less because it's later. I do not want Draymond Green. Got some dudes that are 100%. Terry Cummings. Boxes out well. We'll draft him. Sim did this pick and then. So about this kid. He's a perimeter shot creator. He can't play defense. This guy shoots a little less, but... Derek Harper, huh? I think we'll draft Billy Slaughter here. Alright. Let's see here. Turned out to be a 76. I mean, I think we saw that. Keith Ray is 74. Turned out to be 70. Okay. To, to nab the 75, 19th pick. Another 72. 
Now to 71. At the 13th pick of the second round. And then, oh, we had another one. Okay. That guy I thought about taking, but I didn't. Ended up sticking. I think we'll keep this guy, though. Oh, no. Never mind. Let's take a look. Obviously, yeah, gonna accept all these. Guess this guy didn't do... He did not play. Yeah, I think we'll just move on from him. Stuff's on the decline. We might let Cisco go. Sissoko, I mean. Tatum's offered to. You tell me all these players. Sore right knee out for the season is crazy. Tell me. All these decent players. They're off. Yeah, they're going to have a lot of offers, though. I don't think I have enough money. But, where is this man? In his $20 million contract. A trade exception? Lean towards the Monte Morris one. Straight up for Luke Cornett. I think we're going to do this one. So does that... No, it definitely doesn't give me enough money. Nobody talking about how did I not notice these guys at the I say near the bottom, but not really near the bottom. I'm not saying Trey Jones' older brother. Nas Reed. I mean like a Kelly Oubre is somehow not 30 years old. Yeah, let's take a little look. I would offer, but I know he's going to fall off a cliff as soon as I sign him, like age or ratings wise. Okay, so, I don't stand a chance. I don't have cap space. Dad go, man, that's... Everyone is going up. And hopefully I can keep Wimby. Okay, my... Where did I go? There we go. Everybody's on their way up. I don't think Zach Collins is long for this world, though. Alright. Alright. So, you know, slight improvements, I think. Not a very good roster turnover. 
but you know, this is a good team right here. And I'm hopefully maybe I can add an extension on the Wimby's deal. Kevin Herter in a 2026 first round pick for a guy I just drafted. It's probably on the one year. Like, let's see here. He just dropped six points on them. And they want it, they, and they want him. I just want to look at this dude. Can't do none but shoot the, but score inside. I almost said shoot the three, but it's not even that. I think we'll keep him. I'm looking at his potential, and I, oh, that was an unprotected pick though. I might be I might be thinking too much like a the show GM. No, we're not trading. I'm not trading top top it. I might be thinking too much like a the sh MLB the show GM where I'll have them guaranteed for like 6 or 7 years. You know? But the deals are shorter here. Oh. God. Oh man. So he can't shoot. He can play, he can defend his tail off though. A minus potential. Let's see here. Can I I'll give you Zach Collins and Nope, Zach Collins' deal is <laughs> way too much. So yeah, I think we're just gonna have to kill this deal. I'm trying to keep this point guard, Devin Vassell, and Wimby together. Which I know might be a bad idea, but I don't know. And I'm hoping that if I can keep them together, that this ends up working out. Yeah, I, what is the deal with people just not scoring? i to have some of the worst MVPs of all time in this league, dude. I don't know why. So, okay. Probably going to jinx it, but we're on a winning streak. So. Maybe. I jinxed it. Shouldn't have said nothing. Just lost by 30. Well, let's look here. Oh, it's not one year. I don't think I don't think we have enough money to sign him back either. So I say we accept and then just try to. This is gonna be a big. I would be mad. Can I can I resign him? I know I just said I wanted to keep the sale, but it seems like too good of an offer to pass up on. All right, we're gonna stop. Let's see if I can try extend the Aaron. Broke his hand. He's hurt. How's that? Zach, Zach Collins doing?
see here. Five points a game. He hasn't averaged very many. I think I trade him and let the young guy take over. Plus he's eating up $18 million. They will give me Dennis Schroeder in a second. Not taking Vukovic. Not taking Drew Holiday. My two backup centers for Justice Winslow and Trey Mann. Straight up for Tobias Harris. Two years left on the deal for, for Tobias Harris. They really want to get straight up for Jordan Poole. I mean, it's a slight trade with the Kings again. That might be this might be a bad idea in the, in the end. Okay. Yes, I would like to stop simulating. How do I? Does it? Do, am I not allowed to extend them? Come on. Come on, man. gonna make me mad if I'm not able to keep him and I can't if I can't sign a big name guy pretty sure we did worse this year than we did last year Shay again Rob Dylan Ham one six man. Wouldn't be another one. Look at clutch player of the year. I'm just I'm just looking to see if we got anybody. We'd be on the third team. Alright, alright. And all defensive first. Of course no play in. You okay, thank goodness they got swept, but I was going to be like, come on. Chris Paul, KD, Drew Holiday, James Harden, Gordon Hayward, Clay Thompson all retired. Tom Thibodeau retired. All right. Take a look at the draft lottery. I don't think I have very many picks in this one, but so we've got the 17th pick and the 26th pick. The Hawks have the ninth, our ninth pick. So we're gonna go to the draft. Look at these. They really want Dennis Schroeder. They want... Okay. I'll trade that pick. The Boozer Brothers got drafted. 
Obviously, we're gonna accept Wimby's. Glad we accepted everyone's. Lucas. Lucas offer get declined. Any, any other notable peoples get declined? No. Do I have the money? I'm not gonna be able to get Curry. You know, Darren, we love, love to have you back, buddy. He's 100% interested. This might be where we make a, make a little, you know, we build up a little squad here. Maybe, no, Jonathan Kaminga wants a lot of money. I don't even remember who I traded Sohan to. Kevin Porter's still out there. All right, yeah, I think. Oh, we need a center. Chet's got 11 offers. We're not. Let's see here. I like Nurkic. We'll offer him this. They both, it looks like they're both agreeing. That's perfect. We got our man. We got our men, I mean. Now we're $19 million in the hole. Let's go to player progression. Okay. So maybe eventually we end up trading Fox. But I'm going to try to keep Topic, topic Topic around. Of course, got to keep Wimby out. We're probably going to end up shitting Tobias before the year's out. Before the year's out, he's declining. Matter of fact, let's, let's get him out of here. Uh, look in here. It's all about making room, you know? Draymond Green, bro. I don't want him. Alright. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Next one will be me, obviously, trying to rebuild this team even more. But until then, I will see you.